Hello everyone, so in this video series we are going to create a 3D tennis game like the one we have in here, so I will start by demonstrating it to you. Uh, we have a green guy who is a bot that we are going to program later, and the green one is us. We have a ball in the middle of the court, that we can shoot, chase around, and of course we can aim if we hold down the F key. and try to score a point right here yeah this bot is really good by the way okay so that's the key uh, let's start by creating a new project so we go new project we name this tennis tutorial of course you can name it whatever you want then we create the project We wait for it. Yeah, I have to edit this out. Seriously, man. Okay, so we have created a new project, and as we said, we will start by uh, creating the scene. So we noticed that we have a directional light we will uh, use later, so take it out of the way for now. Let's start by creating the code. Um, so, 3D object cube. This cube will be um, on the x, for example, 26, on the y will be 0.5, and on the z. Let's say 30. Okay, so this is basically our code. And I have uh, went ahead and created a texture on paint. It's nothing uh, too fancy. It's just a code, and we will drag and drop it right here on the ground. So this is basically our ground. Now we will create some walls. So let's name this first as ground. Then. We go right click, 3D object, another cube. Let's name this wall. And this wall is going to take place right about here. Okay, let's go on top view. We can, of course, click on the perspective to view it in orthographic mode. Scale it up a little bit. Press T to have the scale tool and stretch it. We can of course um, click and then alt to stretch on both sides. Try to fit it right through and we will scale it up a little bit. Okay so that's one wall. We click on it and control D to duplicate, W to use the move tool and we will take it to the other side yeah that's about right okay let's duplicate it one last time this time we rotate it with the e which is the rotate tool in unity then t again try to scale it back whoops okay pretty good awesome now, okay, let's uh, just go ahead and create another one first, but we will lower this one so we don't uh, have a problem with the camera later. For now, let's see where our camera is. Okay, it's right here. Uh, 
this isn't very good so take it a little up rotate it a little bit and let's uh, click on all these objects with control and rotate them to face the camera so you can see at least what we are working with if you go to the game view this is our court and this is what the camera sees of course this is what we are going to see when we when we play the game so let's just take a little back perfect let's create new material to color the wall let's call it black matte go to the albedo channel and click on it then choose the black color drag it on these walls perfect we have a pretty looking tennis court right now okay now then let's start by let's see we can um, create a net so how do we create a net well before we create a net let's uh, the we have too many objects in the hierarchy now so we will try to hide them by creating an empty game object naming it walls and dragging all the walls uh, right in our object perfect then we will create the net so create 3d object and another cube perfect we drag it right about here scale it on the x to let's say 0.2 and the z on 0.2 that seems pretty good duplicate and move it right about there perfect and another one let's uh, call this the net top this one left uh, oops right bar and the one below it is the left bar post so the top rotate it again 90 degrees on the Z place it to about there a little bit higher of course again T and alt to scale it we will scale it a little bit less so let's say 0 0.1 0 0.1 because it's just a net bar yeah that seems about right good now I will import some well let's import later let's just create another small cube like this one scale it give it a black material okay this will be our net for now so let's create another empty game object called net and drag and drop all these inside of it cool we have a net and walls what else can we add let's add some lamps let me okay scale it a little bit so how are we going to add some lamps it's pretty easy so we go another cube let's call it lamp rod place it to about here again on the x we'll say 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 and we drop it a little bit then on the y let's say about 3 yeah that seems about right awesome then we will duplicate this e to rotate rotate a little bit okay before we rotate it <laughs> let's do that let's put it about one on the y and lower it yeah that's good enough if you go to top view yep that is going to be our lamp. 
So the lamp, of course, has to has has to have a light. So we click on the hierarchy again. We go to light and spotlight. We have spotlight. We will rotate it just a little bit like this. Well, it's facing that way, so we drag it to about there. Okay, before we rotate it, let's okay. Hold on. Let's reset the transform on this first. Okay. Place it right on top of our lamp. Great, let's rotate it a little bit and like that. So then we have the range. And now the range of the spotlight determines how much uh, it, uh, it will throw the light. So for example, if you increase the range light and first let's disable the direction light so you can see better. So for now that is our spotlight. Let's try to increase the range. So about 15. Yeah, 15 is good. And the spot angle is the most important. Let's go about 150. 150 for the spot angle. And drag it just a little bit more. Perfect. That is a good looking lamp. Yeah, it won't have any shadows. You don't need those for now. So, again, create empty. Let's call this lamp and drag all of those under it. Let's go ahead and Okay, I did not. There, perfect. Let's make it into a prefab so we can use it how many times we want. A prefab in Unity is the it's like an object that you can instantiate as many objects as you want. So this prefab, if I change something inside of the prefab, like for example, um, I will move this, save, go back. I will notice that my lamp is broken. So I have to fix the prefab again, and it can uh, happen to all the instances of the same object. Let's duplicate, place it to about the center, and another one, about here. Yeah, that's very good. So I will select all these three, duplicate, E, rotate, and slide them to face the wall yeah, they are not very well aligned so I will fix that yeah seems about good right now perfect that is looking good so it's great empty another one game object call it lamps and hide all of these six lamps under it so we have a neat hierarchy. Now let's go to our directional direction light, uh, enable it again, and let's create some cool shadow effects. So we try to rotate it. And let's see what uh, we have. A good. Yeah, that seems like a good shadow effect. Yeah, seems nice. Okay, another uh, light. Tooltip that we can use is go to window, rendering, light settings, and we see here that we have the inside of the environment lightings, we have the source, and we are going to change that into color instead of skybox. So the light of, uh, in our scene emits from a uh, fixed color that you will use uh, instead of the uh, standard skybox. We go in here, darken the scene a little bit, not too much, and go back. So that makes it uh, look a little bit better, I think, must my taste, yeah, okay. Then we go to the main camera, also change this from skybox to solid color, and choose a not so bad color like this. It used to be like this, huh? Yeah, this one is about good. Perfect. Now let's create our player. So create 3D and capsule. This will be our player. Let's scale him a little bit less. 
because it's way too big for our scene right now. Yeah, that seems uh, 0.4 maybe. Yeah, 0.4 is perfect. Let's call him player. And a player, of course, is going to have a racket. So, 3D object, a cylinder, for example. Yeah, we will um, rotate this to 90 degrees on the X. Place it to about there. Scale tool. Hold, click and hold Alt. And yeah, that seems about nice. We, if you can, uh, if you want to focus in it, we can either press F or double click on the hierarchy. And then we will create another object of type cylinder again. This will be the uh, grip. So rotate it like that. Scale it to about point. To one, yeah, and point four on the Y. Click OK, W to move it, and of course we can uh, use the uh, toolbar here here to select the different uh, tools from Unity. And if you don't want to use the shortcuts, but I really recommend it. This will be a rocket. Well, it kind of looks more like a pen. <laughs> More than a racket, but okay, we'll do the trick for now. Awesome. So that will be our player. Let's name this uh, little object as a racket. So create another object. Racket. I think that's how it's spelled. And this is the head. That is the grip. Select them both. Place it about there. Good. Of course, let's make a player prefab because we're going to need him later. Let's just lower him a little bit. Awesome. And that is our scene. We will start in the next video by programming how the player moves and interacts with the ball that we will create later. Thank you.